wanted to do to share with you guys. I went out today. I was doing just a little bit of Christmas shopping, but I also stopped at the place where my antique booth is. And I think for my last video, I forgot something. So I'm going to add that in here as well. So I found some stuff at the, it's an indoor flea market, but I, I don't know. I call it my antique booth place. Um, so I found some stuff there and then I went to a thrift store that's around the corner from it because I was by it and that's like the only time that I stop in that one. So I have a few things from there. So this is what I think I forgot to show you last time. Um, it's designing and decorating clothes, Women's Institute of Domestic Arts and Sciences, Kingsway, London. But it, hold on. It does have like pictures of the clothes and stuff for this women's college. And they call them trimmings, like different things like that. Um, I couldn't find like a publication date, but when I looked it up online, but the listing that I actually had like a year attached to it. So that's my whole point of that story. Um, then I found, this is actually a diary from 1943 and it is, written in so it was really interesting um she saved newspaper clippings and some of these actually talk about like i could tell she saved like say this side of it but on the back side it'll talk about like lucille ball and stuff like that like how great she was in her performance so it was it was really neat and then this is probably my favorite thing that was tucked away in here and it's this little typed piece of paper. It says, December 12th, 1935, Mr. Lee A. Bora Jr. at 2616 East 4th Place, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Dear Lee Jr., I received your letter and I will be there to see you Christmas. I am so glad that you have quit sucking your thumb and are a good boy, Santa Claus. So I think I want to like frame this and put it out at Christmas time. But there was all kinds of little things that were in here. Um, oh, and there was something else that was really cool, but I, I don't know. Like I was trying to explain it to Bianca. Like, okay, like look. Well, this isn't what I was just going to say, but this is an example of the Lucille Ball thing. So she, she cut out the paper for this article of this um, person that was resigning. But on the back, you see this. Like, how cool would that have been to be able to read that, that article from then? So, but anyways, the other thing that I was going to say was right in here is this little pamphlet and it says Oklahoma Normal School Annual Contest um, and it says Wednesday, June 6th, 1894. It's really cool, 1894, little program. So that's really neat. She did a lot of laundry. She even ironed her towels, but that was $2. And she never actually says her name. She just keeps saying me. So, or I. Then the other book that I got was this one. And these are, those two books or those three books are from the same booth that I told you about. The new booth that had all of these, like the jello things that I was showing you guys last time. It's the same person. I just checked her booth again. I got like a hair flying. Um, so this is the history of the United States. It was $2.00. A drink <clears throat> and um it was published gotta find it. okay so it says copyright 1884 to 1889 so this book was from 1889 and it, it what it is is a children's book that they would have had in school that was approved by the government at the time 
and it talks about all kinds of stuff. And you can definitely tell that by its wording the and the sort of names that were given to like the Native Americans, for example, um, that it was definitely a different time then. So, but I thought it was really cool just the just to have the the history, you know, in your hands. That's like 130 years ago. Okay, so I got that from there. So then I went, that was last weekend when I went to go put some stuff in my booth. So then today I went and I checked her booth and she didn't really have anything new that I wanted. But I was walking around because there was a couple of things that I wanted to find. Um, luckily I found a couple. So um, this wasn't one of them, but this one is really cool. This is going to be for, and hopefully, I don't think they watch my videos. I doubt it. But I was telling you guys about my brother-in-law, how he collects things that have to do with money and coins and things like that. So I found this. It was $5. And what it is, is a, is a, um, is a, where is, sorry. <laughs> is a certificate for less than a hundred shares. So it is like if you bought um, stock in this railroad company, it is the Pennsylvania Railroad Company. So that today when I went there, I found these things. Um, this I really wasn't looking for, but I picked it up anyway, and it's actually going to be for my brother-in-law. He's the guy I told you that collects things that have to do with money and coins and things like that. Um, it's this. It's a it's a share like a this is what these people were given when they bought shares like stocks in this railroad company. It's pencil the Pennsylvania Railroad Company, and this person in nineteen. I where did it say that? October 23rd, 1957, they bought 12 shares in the Pennsylvania Railroad Company. And it has their name on it and everything. So I thought that he would probably like this. And you know what I think is really cool? See the holes punched? And it, it says, or do you see it this way? Oh, down here it says October. It says the date. But it's like, you know, the Polar Express when he's like punching the ticket. That's what that reminded me of. But. So I got that as a Christmas present. So I thought that was really cool. Then these weren't Christmas presents, but I'm probably going to list these. This was a tree topper, but I think she got, maybe it was a tree topper. You don't have to use it for that, but I think she got a little smushed. It's this little angel. Her little wing is kind of like bent right there. And she's got a little something on her face and right there. But that might come off if I wipe it. But she's got like this gold trim. She was a dollar fifty. So I thought that was cool. Like I said, I'm probably just gonna list those in my store. And then I got this guy. Check this guy out. Look at Santa with his gold suit sparkling and his beard's like in his eyebrow. <laughs> Isn't that cool? He was a dollar fifty as well. I think his price tag fell off in the bag, but he is pretty this is like a good size. I guess he was an ornament or he could stand up. Dollar fifty for him. Oh yeah, here's his price tag. And then oops this girl this little caroler, I think, is what she is. It was a dollar fifty. I think her little her little hand right there is missing some fabric, and her little ball head in the back, <laughs> her little bonnet or whatever was there has come off. But she was really cute. Dollar fifty for her. So then, these are going to be. These aren't necessarily vintage, but they're going to be. Bianca's birthday is next Friday on the thirteenth, so she's very excited that her birthday is finally Friday the thirteenth just gonna add that to she's very excited but um so a couple of these might be for her birthday I try I, I've done it so far every year she was born but I tried very hard to keep her birthday and Christmas separate 
So I got her some Stephen King books. So there's these two and they were all 50 cents each. So these two Stephen King, um, let's see, that one's for somebody else. I'll show you those. This one, the Stephen King one, this one. Oh, my back already hurts sitting on the floor. This one, this one, and this one, Carrie, she likes that movie. <laughs> Then, are these Stephen King? I got her quite a few because they were 50 cents. Yep. These are the last two that are 50 cents. The Shining. She always tells me conspiracy theories about that movie. Then, I got these. Mom, if John is listening or watching, have him walk away right now. <laughs> okay, so I got these for my stepdad. And he likes... Louis L'Amour books, like cowboy stuff, like country western stuff. Um, but I saw these there, and it's by William W. Johnstone. And they are a bunch of, like, cowboy-themed uh, stories. So this one I just thought was the Lone, what does it say? A Lone Star Christmas. It's backwards when I look into my phone. And there's this one. These were all 50 cents as well. I don't know if this author is any good. So I thought 50 cents, he can try it and it wouldn't be horrible if it didn't work out. Then I got him that one. So that's for them. And then, oh, I also got this for my brother-in-law as well. It's a, you can't see the title. It says, I can barely see it. 1964 standard catalog of Canadian coins, tokens, and paper money, 12th edition. So yeah, it's 1964, but he collects these things. He collects the books and stuff. So it, um, this one was a dollar. That was for my brother-in-law as well. Do I say that? Then I'm going to have to ask Bianca because I'm not sure which one of these Gabriel has. Oh, that's the same. That's the same. Oh, that's what I did. Okay. So mom, again, if Jenna is watching... Have her go away right now. Okay. So Bianca has to tell me which one of these um, Gabriel has. I don't think, like, I'm like 99.9% .9 positive my sister doesn't have one of these. So I went ahead and got the double. But, and if Gabriel does have each one of these, then they'll just go to her. But they're the Minecraft books. My sister, for her birthday, um, just got a... Um, what did she get? Xbox? And she got Minecraft. She wanted that really bad, but it teaches you how to make things. And I know Gabriel has one of these, but I think the cover was green. So it's like Redstone Handbook, and then you got Combat Handbook and Combat Handbook. So these were a double, but I thought, oh, you know, because my sister just got the game that I would, these were a dollar a piece, the kids' books, but um, for that price, I would go ahead and get them because she could use it too. And then this is what I was most excited about finding on Gabriel's Christmas list. And I hope Gabriel doesn't watch my video. He'll tell me, mom, your video's out. But I don't think he watches them. Um, he asked for Star Wars action figures and someone had a bag of two, four, six, eight guys. Now they don't, I don't think they have their accessories or anything like that, but it was $12. And I can't really see their age. I haven't opened them to see if they're like the vintage ones or not. But it was $12 for this. And one action figure at the store is $12. So I was kind of excited to spot that. So hopefully he likes that one. So, well, I thought I was going to show you guys my other thrift store stuff. But I think I'm going to end the video right now because we're at 15 minutes. And I'll just do that in a separate video and you guys can check back probably Monday for the thrift store haul. Um, so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what was your favorite thing. Do you guys thrift for Christmas presents? Like 
if you can find it at the thrift store, do you buy it? I'm just curious about that. Or am I the only one that thrifts for Christmas presents? <laughs> Anyways, let me know down below. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The thumbs up really, really, really helps me out. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back real quick. I forgot that I wanted to share this with you guys. I wanted to show you my new shirt. So I already posted this on Instagram. Oh, let me sit up. My tile floor hurts my legs. I posted this shirt on Instagram last weekend when I got it, but it says sleigh rides and then all the times. And then down here, it says into all a good night. So cute. Um, my mom actually designed this shirt and she has them available in her shop um she saw some uh like christmas decor that i had in my house and she's like oh my gosh that would make a cute shirt and i was like oh my gosh yes i have to have it <laughs> so my shirt came in the mail last week and i love it it's like um it's like the it's like the paint that they paint on your shirt so it like sits into the fabric. It's not like vinyl that sits on top and then peels off after some washing and some drying, you know? So that was exciting. I really like this shirt. So I think my mom did a good job. I took a poll on Instagram for a different shirt that she was designing. So if you guys don't follow me over there, you should because I post some stuff way before it ever hits YouTube. So anyways, guys, yeah, go ahead and check her out. I will leave the link down below. Bye.